welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video I am actually going to be testing out the Shrine Hydropic Kit in the shade Bromed because as you guys can probably tell or already know I do have light brown or dark blonde hair so I really want to, I really want to dye my hair blonde because when I was a little probably ever since I was a toddler until around 10 or 11 years old I used to have a really blonde hair but as I've gotten older it's gotten really dark I do like natural hair colour and people do say oh your hair is a lovely colour but I really fancy a change I have never dyed my hair before and this is the main reason why I actually bought the Shrine Hydropic Kit because it's more general compared to hair dye and it's obviously conditioner based compared to actual hair dye I have obviously patch tested myself yesterday because you have to leave it on for 24 hours in case you have an allergic reaction and I've actually also strand tested my hair already to see if the colour does pick up on my hair and to be honest it has but I've actually been reading the guide and it says for longer hair to put more drops in because obviously if I only put six drops in, it would barely do anything to my hair. So I've had to put double the amount of drops in. I should hopefully still dye my hair with. I mean, it's a pretty easy process to go through. But yeah, I am going to be dyeing my hair for the first time. I'm actually, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. But I think I'm more excited because obviously I'll, I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to have blonde hair now. If it works, obviously, I'm hoping it just go blonde. I'm hoping it's going to work. So please leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Also subscribe if you are excited for me or nervous or you're gonna find this funny if it doesn't work I don't know I've got a feeling I've got a feeling that my hair isn't gonna to take to the colour because I'm a young person and I do have a head full of hair like a long kind of thick hair so fingers crossed so please make sure to subscribe for me guys this video is worth a subscription right now so please subscribe and without further ado let's get on the video as you can tell i have actually pre-mixed the conditioner and hair dye just because it was just going to speed up this video really but the conditioner i have actually used is the alberto balsam and the reason i've used this is firstly because it's cheap you can get it for a pound and you do use half of well for my the hair length I have used half a bottle but it's good because it's cheap and it's not as if like you're spending like five pounds on the conditioner and it's also silicone free which is good because it actually says on the guide to not use a silicone conditioner because it it doesn't make the hair dye it basically dye your hair pretty much so you remember this conditioner is really good I've, I've been using the raspberry scent and it's also very good for my hair I never use conditioner on my hair normally I just use shampoo because I feel as if it does make my hair more greasy but obviously for this I have had to use conditioner yes yeah, so I've put around 12 to 18 drops in I don't exactly know how many I put in because I just this kind of thing it was really hard to like squirt some drops in but I'm actually going to put a couple more in because it actually says for long hair to put uh, more drops in so that's what I'm going to say if so I'm not actually you know I kind of dye my hair and nothing happens to my hair yeah so I'm going to mix that again and it has like a little guide like a, a, a drop chart a guide for colour but it's got like bleach blonde a dark blonde or light brown obviously I would say I'm a light brown my hair is kind of getting slightly lighter because this time of year it always does um, so I, I've kind of gone for 20 drops um, it, it just because it did say for long hair to drop you to put some more drops in otherwise I would have put the 12 in and hopefully that would have made my hair go blonde but I think I was being a bit too unrealistic there but as you guys know this is my first time actually dyeing my hair but I'm just going to go through what's in the kit so obviously you have the kind of guide um, a drop chart and how to perform a, a patch test the patch tests are very important because 
it can basically stop you from like your head swelling up if you were allergic to the dye it basically just stops you from having an allergic reaction instead of having it on your head you can either do it behind your ear or on your heart like the inside of your elbow um, and then obviously the other box it says like create any shade it's got like how you use it it's got what's in, inside the box obviously the bronze the drops it's got the silicone ball and this the ball actually has a fill line of how much conditioner you have to put in your hair and it also comes with like a little silicone the thing i did buy this brush separately just because i just wanted it's something to kind of do my roots with in case i want to do that but it does say use gloves so i don't think i'm actually going to use a brush today but i'm just going to use gloves and kind of mix it in my hair so as you can see i have dampened my hair i probably look like a drowned rat but i've not actually put a load of water in it i've literally just kind of dampened it with like my hands from the tap and just kind of kind of dump my hair but that is basically what a towel dries it means i think I, i'm really nervous i'm probably gonna stutter more because i'm actually nervous and when i get nervous i do stutter so if i'm struggling to talk that is why but yeah i'm just gonna get an old towel the white top is probably the wrong color to wear because obviously if i get anything on this it it will not come out I'm using like a really old towel, it's got like threads coming out of it, it's just like a hair dye towel really. But yeah, I'm just going to use a couple of clips to just kind of attach this together because I would hate to get any, any dye on my clothes, that would not be good would it? I'm just going to double secure myself just so that I don't actually get anything, so here we go, here it is. I've got Snapchat from someone, a bit over here is my hair, I'm now going to put on the gloves. I really need to hurry up because I would hate for need my hair to dry up again. Oh yeah, and it also says to brush your hair before you dye your hair, which is obviously obvious, I'd, I'd say. I am obviously going to struggle because I'm not a hairstylist myself, so I've never dyed my hair or someone else's hair, but we are going to try this. So, you can basically pick this up with like your gloves. Oh my god, it's so weird. And all you have to do is, you just kind of go like this with your hair. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I might actually do my roots maybe with the brush now just so it's a bit better but it's actually quite alright it's actually better than what I was expecting <laughs> oh my god oh, this might be okay actually I might just top it up with the brush actually just to be sure because you never know you just never know do you yeah, this conditioner smells lovely obviously like a raspberry scent um, really nice You're very good very nice very good very nice yeah, I'm going to try and attempt to get all my hair. I might struggle a bit, I don't know. Right, it's quite easy. It's pretty straightforward. As long as you know what you're doing, then I don't think you'll really have a problem. Oh my God, I've got dye on my hair. I mean, on my face already. Obviously, it's going to be my hair on my face already. I did not think this through. Oh no. Oh no. I really should have had a master plan before I did this. Okay, well, I actually didn't... I clearly didn't plan this through properly. Right. It, it seems to be going okay at the moment. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you can notice a bit of a difference, I'm going to be happy, you know. And if it feels, it feels. It's just, it's meant to be, obviously, in my hair, is you're never meant to be dyed, I don't know. Who knows? Right, get these bits, because you always forget these bits, don't you? I mean, I don't know, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm literally just winging this, guys. I'm, oh my god, I've literally used half a tub of conditioner on my hair. Yeah, my hair is going to be so greasy tomorrow, but you know what? If it's going to colour it, it's going to colour it. Well, it says to leave it on for 10 minutes. Because I have the longer and darker hair, I am going to leave it on for 15 minutes. So I'm going to speak to Siri. And hopefully he will reply to me or she. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. Thank you. So I will come back in 15 minutes and wipe it off my face because obviously it isn't meant for your face. Um, oh my god, I've actually dyed my face a little bit already. <gasps> it does kind of activate really quickly, which I didn't actually think it would, but... 
if you know I was mistaken. So I am um, going to dry my hair. I have washed it all out, I hope, anyway. So I'm going to obviously dry my hair. It's probably going to take me like half and I'll just dry my hair just because, oh my god, it takes forever. But yeah, I'll come back when I've dried my hair and hopefully it'll be able to see some results. I'm hoping it's worked. I can't really tell at the moment. But let's pray for me, fingers crossed. It looks darker to be honest, but I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping it's blonde. I'm hoping it's blonde, so wish me luck. I am back. So, the results. I can tell it has kind of lightened my hair slightly, but not a, a great deal. Because my hair is really long, I did leave it on for like extra five minutes, and that probably did help a little bit, but I don't know if I should have added less drops in or more drops to kind of add more colour but it's definitely done something my hair does feel really nice and soft and when I was brushing my hair after washing it I had no problem kind of getting any knots out because I obviously had a ton of conditioner on my hair but I think for my hair type I am probably better with an actual like a proper box dye or normal hair dye if that makes sense instead of this drop kit, I might have done something wrong, I don't know, but I have followed all those steps, the only step I kind of, it changes obviously how long I have to on for, but I think it actually did my hair better. Um, I would recommend this for somebody who is maybe like a really fair haired or a dark haired who wants to go to blonde, maybe I should have got a toner, I'm not sure. As I said, I'm not like a hairdresser, so I don't really know. But overall, I am happy. I just wish I was a bit blonder. But I think my hair colour is it's an awkward colour where it doesn't always take to hair dye. And even when like, I've tipped my eyebrows before, it was just going to never dye. So maybe, I've to, maybe I'm just one of those unlucky people that has to leave like, the hair dye on for ages. But I don't know. But... I would recommend it. I think it is twelve ninety nine. I will kind of leave like a price, and I will leave a link down to the Shrine drop kit. I would recommend it. I think it is a good product, and it's a good way to kind of test colours on your hair because you know, they do wash out after three to twelve washes, depending on your hair type and obviously how much you wash your hair and everything. I mean, I only wash my hair every two days now. So that works out like three times a week so that's not too bad it is a good way to test things out as i said but if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone